Hey, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Scott Nalthio. I'm just going to do a weekly update on on our uh, pandemic uh, activities and uh, work being done by our staff. So I'm just going to report on uh, every household is get, will receive a food hamper along with a few disinfectant supplies, which will be announced shortly. So will uh, food hampers will be going out to ECN members in rural, town site, Pigeon Lake, and, other, and corp, corporate houses and small boy camp. Dog food assistance will be provided for pet owners that are unemployed. Trailers for isolation cases are being set up at uh, Musco Park at presently. They're arriving today and and being set up, and that's for the isolation if we get to that stage, but I hope we don't. Uh, public warning system is being researched at the moment. To, uh, and we're in discussion right now, further to that is uh, a curfew, like uh, our, our neighboring reserves are doing that too, so we're discussing that presently. And admin will remain closed to the public till uh, Till this pandemic is over, and uh, we have to follow all measures, safety measures that have been provided, so that uh, the COVID virus won't spread. So uh, you know, we we do those announcements. You hear those announcements daily and reminders. Um, essential services are are still going. They include water delivery, trash pickup, and septic cleaning. Emergency repairs such as no power, no water and sewer backups. The Emergency Operations Committee is working to assist Council in ensuring to keep, we keep our community as safe as possible. RCMP regular, regularly patrol our nation. I am pleased to report that most of our members are complying with the safety precaution that, uh, but there are a lot of you that are not. If you know who they are, please encourage them to heed the warnings. Please stay home. It is important we protect our vulnerable elders, our sick, and our children from COVID-19. Only go out when necessary for essential items such as groceries or medical needs. Everyone needs to do their part, and we all need to, to do our part to stop the spread. So, I hear you. I'm just going to do a, an update from MHS on uh, where, where things are at right now. We are seeing increased numbers of, of Muscogee's members who are requiring COVID-19 testing and are being advised to self-isolate. Muscogee's Health Services continues to work closely with Alberta Health Services and First Nations and, U, and Inuit Health Branch in our, in our response to to this pandemic. Our only tool to, to fight this COVID, to fighting COVID-19 is to prevent the spread of the virus. The community must take responsibility for protecting our elders, vulnerable children, and each other. Please take seriously direction from public health. Social distancing for everyone. Maintain two meters between Others, when in public, practice good hand hygiene, wash hands for 20 seconds. Leave only for essential trips. Ensure you wash hands before and after leaving. I guess another part to that would be when you go to the stores, they have these uh, markers and on social distancing and going in between aisles. Please respect those because I know it's They've been uh, there in the last week or so in Wetaskiwin. Self-isolation, Who has anyone who has returned from outside of Canada must isolate for 14 days. Anyone who has any symptoms, fever, cough, runny nose, achy muscles must self-isolate for 10 days or until symptoms resolve. Muscogee's ambulance services are working closely with Muscogee's health services and each band so that they, they 
advised to self-isolate, please follow their directions. Mass gatherings, there are to be no, no gatherings of any kind that include more than 15 people. If gathering, you must maintain two meter distance between people and have access to hand washing. Mass gatherings include uh, family gatherings, funerals, wakes, weddings, religious gatherings or outside or outdoor gatherings. Please be reassured that if a patient that has urgent medical needs, they will be taken to the hospital. Emergency departments are still, are still caring for patients while life-threatening medical conditions, even if not related to COVID-19. Call the ambulance if you are experiencing shortness of breath or increased work of breathing. If you, are, if you experience a medical emergency not related to COVID-19, chest pain, change in awareness, confusion or loss of responsiveness, loss of function of arms, legs, slurred speech, injuries leading to excessive bleeding, broken bones or change in level of consciousness, severe burns, seizures lasting longer than five minutes. Please continue to follow the Muscogee's Health website and Muscogee's Health Services Facebook Ad hoc radio for ongoing updates. Over the coming days, we'll be out, outfitting the quarantine process so that so when there is a positive case in Muscogee's, we continue to be here to support your health needs at MHS. Please call 780-585-2266 if you have any health concerns for. Medical emergencies call 780-585-4000 and we will do our best to help you. And MHS is, is testing Monday to Friday at Community Health for screening call 780-585-2020. I guess just a couple more comments. We're working on that, as I stated earlier, working on a curfew by a lot. So hopefully we'll have an announcement shortly here to address uh, our three neighboring bands uh, closing of their borders because it's, it's going to it'll affect us so we need to work on that. So we'll have an announcement shortly on that and uh, you know hopefully we'll, things will slow down and settle down in the next little while because it's, uh, we need to worry about the safety of our, of our members, young and old. So. Uh, with that, again, I'd just like to thank all of you for listening to me, and we will keep these weekly updates going. And thanks to Tara and the staff for for getting you know getting things going, keeping things organized for our members during this time because we you know it's a team effort that we need that uh, makes things successful. And right now, everybody, all the staff are working together on this. So I just like to commend all of them, and you know keep up the good work, and we will. Keep uh, making these weekly announcements and updates so that you're all aware of what's going on in Irvington. Right